Welcome back guys, it's Captain Thief with, uh, well, this is actually kind of a bonus episode because after I beat every gold challenge, I kind of go to a guide written by Omniskirus about things I might have missed, and this is after I beat it, okay, so I have to actually beat it myself and, uh, you know, mostly I do this just to make sure that I'm not screwing things up for people who are actually taking this up as a guide. In that case, they might think that Fighter Gold Challenge was really hard because it took me six tries to beat it. Two episodes, but six tries, all the same. And you want to see the easy way to do this? You want to see the easy way? Here it is. Halflings. Of course. I was going with humans. Not really all that important. In fact, the only thing that really matters is halflings, so you can take as many hits from the boss as you can. All my other things still somewhat apply, you know. A strength potion to make that first fight easy. Whoopaz, reflex, all that good stuff. Instead of a really big sword, though, you go at the Slayer Wand. And we'll get into that in a, in a bit. I'll, I'll explain it. So, you know, this may only take like five minutes. Let, let's, let's just go through it real quick. You know, this is this is so easy I could probably cry. I don't know. So, we do the same thing that, you know, we did last time. Just go ahead and you know, take out this guy as quick as possible. Take out this meat man as quick as possible. Uh, they're dropping Ima Walls and Pistorifs. It's it's good stuff. Um, we really might as well use the Ima Walls. You get the same glyphs every single time here. The order just differentiates a little. Um, trying to think. There's no way we could take him on. It's probably best just to try and level up off of this guy or something. So, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to Pistorif him. There is a little edge to this in that, uh, you know, there, there's things that you just can't predict, like, are we going to get a whole bunch of these goo blobs? And I hope not, but sometimes it happens, okay? So let's just go ahead and piss off him there, and piss off him here. That actually didn't matter, but you know what? Whatever. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm going to lose my uh, death protection if I, if I fight him here. So, you know, this might take me a second. Instead of losing my death protection... I think I'd rather lose my health potion, yeah. Death protection just makes it that much more of a difference. Let's just not even go there. Okay. Now, I'd love to push this guy through walls and stuff. That might make the difference. Um, let's go ahead and push him. And then we can just fill up on MP, you know? And then... I don't know. It's, it's taking me a moment. I kind of want to... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do this. Let's turn this guy to stone. Fill up on MP again. It's fine. If we have enough darkness, we'll make things work. Don't worry. Don't worry about anything. And, you know, we're doing enough damage to him that he's not going to be able to take off my death protection or regen enough. And then, broom, and then, yes. Okay. Another goo blob uh, that I don't know what thing he dropped. I'm going to have to kill this goat just to find out. It's, let me see. Okay. I probably could have told you if it was uh, Burned Raz or not, but nah, I don't know. I just don't know. So let's uh, let's go over here. Uh, you know, this guy's already made of stone. Let's turn him into even more... Oh, wait. It makes more sense to try it out against the goat. Less chance to resist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we have two piss orfs here. Um, are we going to be able to take this guy on? Maybe. Maybe. It's going to be a trial. But, you know, it's going to be one heck of a trial. All right, uh, we're kind of trying to sl save the Slayer Wand to not have to fight the level eight and the level nine, but you know some things just don't go your way. Oh well, I guess I just kind of wasted some. Uh, well, I'll get a lot more EXP if I actually kill him, but I'm not going to be able to do that, am I? No, I'm not. And reflex potions out because I need. I want to save that for Mr. Goat and such. So I think if you just happen to get a goo, goo blob at the wrong time. Just, you know, go ahead and restart. It's it's okay. It's all right. Um, can can I... Yeah, I can leave. Restart. Same prep. Same race. Same setup. Well, not same setup because, you know, we still have the level 2 snake here. It feels like we always have that level 2 snake here. It's all right. Gooblobs here. At this level, they're not that big of an issue. I mean, granted, I am taking a lot of damage here, but it's 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 something. So, it looks like we're doing a bit close to the same amount of damage to each other. I need a better glyph than that. Okay. Okay. I'm not making this look any easier. But it gets a lot easier at the end. And that's where it all counts. This is not one of those fights where you're uh, building your way up a hill or whatever. And then gradually you come to the crest of the hill 
and you're like, oh, hey, um, we'll just pass over this. No, it's like we're climbing up a different thing altogether. <laughs> I'm not sure where I was going with this. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, you know, these, these uh, Gorgons are actually not that hard to take on at this level. Still, I think I'll just take on the lower level one to level up. It's good stuff. All right. And when we can, let's try and push her over here and then here. I guess I could save that darkness for later. And uh, then we'll heal up, push her through, push her through two walls and up oh, that. I shouldn't have grabbed that darkness. Oh, well, whatever. She's dead anyway. It's fine. So now we can get this bear mace if we really want it. And I think we do want it. So we'll do that. Oh. And then we'll just go and grab that. This get in there. I don't think we'll ever get any or we'll ever see any use. It's alright. It's it's okay. Um, we're not gonna be able to push them through the walls that we want thanks to these you know, these guys being in the way. Except, you know, I could piss Orphan out of the way. There we go. I'm using my brain. It's okay. And so we'll just I don't know, send him up there and then We'll send him through there, and I think we can get out of his death radius without him, us, without him getting out of our death radius, and safely win. Hooray for that! Okay, I think it kind of makes sense to try and destroy this block with her, so I think we'll do that. Boom, and then boom. Yep, totally works. It works. Burn her ass. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna have to get rid of something. Guess what? It's probably going to be shrinking my biceps yeah why not shrinking your biceps it's never a good thing except in this case all right so we're going to level from this here snake snakey snake and well let me just grab a little bit of darkness first and then go hmm yeah we're gonna get one wall with this guy you know so we'll burn him first and then we'll kill him level up it's a beautiful thing if possible, let's try and, you know, bring her to the other place. We might need this amulet. Actually, she's a little closer to the sword, but I feel like the, uh, this thing is more key to our winning. Okay, so, I'm actually going to heal her slightly, just so she can break that wall. And we do that with here. Okay, that works. That totally works. Thank you very much. Okay, we got a bad goo blob here. I'm not too pleased about it it is what it is though isn't it okay well we'll we'll save it we gotta save the two Slayer ones for level eight and level nine so we don't have to work so hard on fighting the or getting to the end boss okay okay so who would i rather kill the dragon spawn it's out of my out of my hands sorry or maybe the goo blob maybe maybe i i would feel a bit remorse if I didn't grab the darkness first though because I don't want to heal his face okay and yeah we'll just go ahead and just just get on with this I think grabbing two squares of darkness is okay in this situation just to you know kind of get up get a nice burn in on him I can only see one okay I see two ones we'll use them both sure why not um give me a second Okay, he's not going to eat our death protection. I probably didn't even need to do that second burn. That's okay. We got most everything. I think the sword is probably the least worthwhile thing to go after. Um, I'm just grabbing that darkness because, you know, at some point I'm going to anyway. Okay. It makes the most sense to kind of push the dragon over here and give him a good burn. And then, I don't know, kill somebody else. And... <laughs> I think we want to actually get to the sword though, so we'll just, you know, kill him here. Boom. Alright, here's the level 8. Unfortunately, it's the Wraith who I actually like killing at this point, but that's okay. Um, let's see. We can actually use the eyeball to get some bonus EXP um, if we decide on what to throw away. And I think it might be the Pissorf. Sorry, Pissorf, but that's just how it is. Then we'll grab this here, I'm a wall, and we'll turn. Uh, the meat man makes the most sense and then we'll just you know use it on this guy it says i'm only going to get six it says it's capped at your level it's how the slayer one works however i should get nine so it should be 21 22 that's right um this is a slight problem 
It's a slight problem. Because the snake is in the way. I don't see how he was able to spawn here. I thought they couldn't spawn him where the walls were. But I guess I was wrong. Okay. Okay. Now I, I can see how this is going. Uh, unfortunately, this kind of came out of nowhere and got me. But, you know, I might still be able to pull it off. Who knows? Let's just go ahead and pick up the Indus wall. Sure. Why not? And we'll go here. And we can push him out of the way at least. At least. He's still going to get to poison me. But, you know, all the same. Um, I'll be able to destroy his special Gorgon up there. Oh, right. I don't really need the Indus wall anymore. What do I need even less of? The Ima wall. So, we did that. That's the thing we did. Now watch this. We kill her. And we're level 7. And we're at the boss. Uh, not that boss. This boss. And we're level 7, so we can safely take a hit. I think we could have taken a hit at level 6, which is actually what was suggested in the guide. But here's the other thing. We have a lot of glyphs on the ground that we can just safely recycle and get a ton of health potions. In fact, that, let me see, probably was more worthwhile not doing that. I don't feel right converting the... Uh, get in there just yet we might need it as a final hit who knows okay we don't want to push him into darkness and heal him by accident or whatever so let's just use our typical reflex whoop as take off a whole half of his health it's good stuff and uh, biceps drink a potion I'm feeling tempted to grab one square but there's no not one square to grab so um, Let's drink another potion, because if we're going to, you know, use a death protection, we really might as well, you know, really make it worthwhile, huh? The other thing we can do is if you have the let me see, you can just keep bicepsing him, healing up off the darkness and taking off his physical resist. We didn't take our really big sword, so, you know, whatever. Let's go ahead and take off our death protection there, and we'll biceps again. Two drinks should do it. Yep, two drinks are doing it, and then drink, drink, and ah, it's coming close. It's coming close, but it's not working. So, yeah, that that's what that's going on. I guess we're gonna have to uh, recycle some things. That's okay. I'm done with my biceps anyway. I'm done with my endless wall anyway. Drinkity, drinkity. What did you thinkity? Smack, and we're done burnderizing. That's a whole health potion. Here's another whole health potion. In fact, I don't even need the bear mace, but I'm not going to. So let's just go ahead and drink those two and beat it. Easy. Easy as pie. Um, I don't know if that was, you know, five minutes or not, but you know, this is one of the easier ways. As I said, if you get blobs at a very inconvenient point, don't be afraid to reset, I guess. And I, I could have sworn I got the cheeky already. Maybe it just doesn't record these forever. I don't know. I didn't check the time. It was there, though. It, this had to have been a much shorter way. This is the easier way. It's definitely a lot easier than what I was trying to do. You still have to use your head somewhat to uh, get around enemies, level up at the right time and stuff. But all in all, you know, it's like, just, just do it the easy way. Don't make it too hard on yourself. If you want to just keep throwing your head at a banging your head against the wall trying to beat it as a human be my guess that's kind of what i was doing um but if you just want to pass this gold challenge and move on just just do it it's fine no one's gonna really judge you it's not like you're, you're trying to beat this whole game with goat person or something speaking of which no we'll, we'll talk about that later thanks for watching this has been just a bonus episode of desktop dungeons doing fighter gold challenge the easy way you know it's not like i was doing it the hard way but you know it's it's a lot easier this way Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.